Hello everybody. I'm going to do a thread response. The, uh, I, I guess it's the, the alphabet thread response from uh, Big Star 1000. Uh, <laughs> lovely man down in, uh, what is it, Australia? I don't know. How's the weather down there, dude? Hello. Uh, I don't really do very many thread responses, but I, because a lot of them don't really apply to me. <laughs> but um, uh, this one I thought was really cool, very interesting, sort of, you know, condensing everything down and picking out, you know. Uh, well, what it was, if you don't know, is he said to pick one record from each letter of the alphabet to, that defines your collection essentially so you know 26 records that'll kind of give you a breath of what you know my collection or anybody else's record collection is about or what it consists of or you know <laughs> what the flavor of it would be so without further ado the first one was obvious my very first video I did was show my acid mother's temple so obviously a Ask the Mother's Temple, Crystal Rainbow Pyramid, uh, my favorite by them, so that one was easy. B, uh, <laughs> I immediately grabbed this guy, but I hesitated, and I was going to go for another one because I almost want to keep this guy to myself. Nobody really knows about him, but it's a Venezuelan, uh, I don't know how you'd, you'd say it, like a funk progressive... Uh, jazz world folk music <laughs> it's just out there let's just say progressive a Venezuelan progressive artist from uh, the 70s Vitas Brenner this was the first record I ended up getting by him Hayache just fantastic record uh, I won't get too much into him that's my guy don't go after him uh, C I picked out Jerry Contrell's Boggy Depot. When I was a kid, I loved, and still do, love the whole 90s grunge thing. And I mean, just getting this record, I, you know, the inner child was thrilled when I got that one, so. D was simple. It's what you hear in the background. I've showed this record before. Al Di Miola, one of my favorite guitarists, Splendito Hotel. E was another easy one. Earthless, you know I talked about this one. F, I picked out Phantomas, uh, <laughs> surgical sound specimens from the Museum of Skin. <laughs> uh, absurd. It's off Ipecac uh, recordings, but it's basically soundscape music. I love soundscape music, and it's all one long song. It's, you know, two records, but one damn song just broken up amongst them. Pretty cool packaging, but it's basically like you're listening to a horror film. That's what it sounds like. Really cool. I just showed this record, but G gotta be Garage de Trois. Love that band. H. Husker Du. Candy Apple Red. Or Gray. Gray. Oops. Love Husker Du. Love anything with Bob Mould. I... I'm sure as most of you guys do, the I is very short. <laughs> so, I, I picked out this one. It's a beautiful day. Fantastic record. Jeff Reckerman knows this one. Beautiful record. J. Jane's Addiction. Pretty damn easy. K. This is uh, another kind of soundscape music. We got Kahootek. Another lovely record. L. Living Color. Vernon Reed, one of my favorite guitarists. Love this band. Time's Up. Their second record, I think. M. Mahavishnu Orchestra. <laughs> M, M I had a little trouble with because I have so much M's. <laughs> I have like an entire crate of M's and then my O is like, well, pfft, this, so no, whatever, but. <sighs> N, again, no contest. Harry Nelson, showed this record before. Favorite one by M. K Nelson. O, Boingo Boingo. Love Danny Elfman. Never go wrong with him. Uh, P, again, it was like no contest with P. Pink Floyd, uh, uh, what did he show? It was a big star. He showed Fred. He showed the, uh, what was it, Dark Side of the Moon. Well, I picked out my favorite, which is metal. Love this record. Q, I picked out Quintron's Too Thirsty for Love. <laughs> just look at it. Look, just look. This is just 
how the music sounds. Absurd, fun music. He's a one band man. He's a he's a one man band, I should say. Quintron, if you don't know him, he plays this weird organ thing. It's like dance music almost. It's pretty cool. R, this was another easy one. REM. My father is a huge REM fan and he dragged me in with him. Uh, this is, I think their second record, Reckoning? I think it's their second. But either way, my favorite by them. S, Sun Ra. Now I think about it, Sun Ra should probably be under R, shouldn't he? Oh well. Too late, I put Sun Ra under the S for the sun. So for S, we got Sun Ra, Space is a Place. My favorite record by him. I actually had to wait a year to find a copy of this. <laughs> Wonderful record. T picked out They Might Be Giants, the first record. I love this band. This is another one my dad got me hooked on. U, I only had like two U's. So this one was like, eh, whatever, yeah. Picked out Uriah Heep, Salisbury. V, Stevie Ray Vaughan, hands down. I'm a guitar player. I love good guitar players. He's a fantastic guitar player. He's dead, but oh well. W, no contest. If you know me, you watch my videos, you know I love Roy Wood. Roy Wood is the man. Wizards Brew, favorite record by him. X was another one that was really easy because I only had one record. <laughs> I started with X. <laughs> And it's actually the same band that Big Star showed, but you know, XTC, it's a different record, but uh, Oranges and Lemons, uh, just a killer record. Th this one, they went a bit more poppy with their sound, you know, the earlier stuff was very kind of uh, ragged punk new wave thing, but this this record got real poppy, but what, who's, the, who's the bassist? I never remember his name, but the bassist, like one of the best bassists I've ever heard. Uh, why? Yes, Closer to the Edge, my favorite record by them. And lastly, we got Z. I immediately went to pull out Frank Zappa, but then stopped myself, because it's like, well, I just showed my Zappa, and you know, my Z really consists of nothing but Zappa, so, <laughs> you know, whatever. I decided to pull out the other Zappa. Dweezil Zappa's first record, it's uh, Having a Bad Day. This is just, a fun record to listen to. <laughs> when you're in a bad mood, put this on. It makes you feel better. But uh, there's my uh, response to you, Big Star. Hope you enjoy it. Hope everybody else enjoys it. And uh, as always, thank you for watching.